sure I'm proud of these ones that smoothed out the night soon. About had a breakthrough a while ago. Brother Steve felt good. Mm -hmm. He did fight. Mm -hmm. Amen. Sure, and I tell you, if y'all ever learn to get a hold of God for yourselves, the devil's going to have a church to contend with. Mm -hmm. You ever learn that it's God that does the blessing, we just become the vessel for Him to use. Mm -hmm. Praise God, we'll have a We'll have a time. I'm so proud of these girls who's moved out and singing. There's different ones that's working. That's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have a church. You're going to have to learn to work. And press, no matter who's there or who's not there. But you've got to do this for yourself. Can't nobody do your part. You've got to do your part yourself. You know, they may be those you feel sing better than you, but they can't sing your songs. But uh, let's look in the book of John in the 8th chapter. I'd love to do my best tonight to help somebody. Right, the book of John in the 8th chapter. 28th verse. Then Jesus said unto them, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall you know that I am He, and that I do nothing of myself, but as my Father hath taught me, I speak these things. He that sent me is with me. The Father hath not left me alone, for I do always those things that please Him. He spake these words. As He spake these words, many believed on Him. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on Him, If you continue in My word, then are you My disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered him, We be Abraham's seed, and were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? <clears throat> Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin. And the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the Son abideth forever. If the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. I know that you are Abraham's seed, but you seek to kill me because my word hath no place in you. I speak that which I have seen with my Father, and ye do that which you have seen with your Father. They answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus saith unto them, If you were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. But now you seek to kill me, a man that hath told you the truth, which I have heard of God. This did not Abraham. You do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, We be not born of fornication. We have one Father, even God. Jesus said unto them, If God were your Father, you would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but He sent me. Why do you not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my word. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. 
And because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. <coughs> Which of you convinces me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? He that is of God heareth God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. Appreciate your patience. We'd like to read there to you. I praise the Lord for the little bit that I know about Him. Amen. That that He's taught me about that's real. I thank Him for His Word, His Spirit, His truth. Thank Him that He saved my soul. Amen. He sanctified me. Amen. Baptized me with the Holy Ghost. Fire come with that Holy Ghost. Amen. He called me and anointed me to preach His Word. Amen. Sent me to pastor this wonderful group, this little church of God's people. I'd like to talk to you tonight by the help of the good Lord. I'm glad that I know who my Father is. Amen. Uh, I can say for me, you have to stay your part for you. Thank God that God is my Father. Amen. Now we're living in a generation in a time where seemingly everybody claims to be saved. About everybody you talk to wants to claim to belong to God. Amen. Uh, but I'm just here tonight just to maybe go over something real simple and easy with you. And don't nobody take this as though it's toward you. But well, let's just talk about this while we're here. <laughs> he that's born of God does the will of God. Amen. He that is born of God loves the Word of God. Amen. Amen. A man or woman that has been born again and loves God's Word, Amen. they love His Spirit. Amen. They love the truth. Yeah. Uh, even when that truth Shows me where I'm at. It yeah. shows me where I'm coming up short. Because I belong to God, I still love His Word. Yeah. There's times I have to pray and ask God to help me move up. There's times I've got to ask Him to forgive me. But thank God, I still love His Word. Yeah, amen. And I still love His ways. Yeah, and I love the things that He's put in His Word. Yeah. And the things He's taught me to live and how He's taught us to serve Him. Thank God. The glory to God. Surely let's just all be right out on the table tonight and be honest. It ain't everybody that claims to be saved that is of God. Amen. Amen, Amen. Amen preacher. Amen. The Bible would teach me and you that hell enlarges herself. Uh, that she moves up from beneath uh, to greet the sinner man at his coming. Uh, but this same Bible tells me and set the dimensions of heaven. Uh, that I never did read where God went and broadened the walls of that city. Uh, where He lengthened it at all and He had to change it and make room. Uh, because many are called but few are chosen. Uh, there's many that claim God uh, but let's just be honest tonight in our works, if we're not careful, we'll deny God. That many that have drawn nigh to God with their mouth and honor God with their lips and their words, but in their heart and in their actions and deeds, they deny God. It ain't everybody that said, Behold, that is speaking by the authority of God. Hallelujah. But thank God that we know about a way that is real. Come on. Just try to get this with me tonight if we can. Children, my Uncle Paul used to have a saying, you've heard others say it. He began to say, if it looks like the world, and it walks like the world, it talks like the world, and does the things of the world, it's of the world and not of God. And it's still the same way in this day that we're living in. It's because many are not willing to go the ways of holiness. Does 
not mean that God is going to lower the standard to allow more to get in. But the standard is just as high as it's ever been. Whether I live it or I don't, God's Word will remain God's Word. It ain't how high you shout. It's the life you live. Amen. It ain't how many scriptures you can quote. But is there anything that gets in that when you quote it? Right. And what is it that moves in there when you quote it? Right. Hallelujah. It's about working for God. Come on, brother. God, we want to fuss and fight over works. Let me tell you something, children. Everybody has works. Right. The sinner man has works. Right. They're evil works. Right. The same of God has works. They're good works. Right. You've got works tonight. Amen. But don't let nobody fool you. There's not three, four, five, and six ways to heaven. There's one way in. There's still only one door. I read in this book and it said about 12 gates in the city of God, but I only ever read about one door to get in there. And His name is Jesus. There is no other way given unto man. There's no other way in but through it by Jesus. Children, don't let people confuse you. The Lord only knows why we're preaching this way, but this is the way I felt to bring it. Don't let anybody confuse you. Don't let anybody trouble your mind or bother you. Know what you've got. Know that that you possess in your soul. Know about the God that you serve. And I'm just telling you, children, I would not have a God that would never move for me. I wouldn't serve a God I couldn't feel. I wouldn't want to go to church in a place I couldn't feel anything. But thank God for holiness for the children. Thank God for the true plan of salvation. The true way that is still just as good today as it ever was. I want you to notice what we got here in this, this part of Scripture. We have the Son of God who plainly told him that he didn't come of his own will, but his Father sent him. That's what he said. I just read it to you. He came forth from the Father. He was sent from the Father down to this world. He physically lived in a body just like you, God. He was a man just like you. Human just like you. He felt the cold. He felt the heat. He knew what hunger felt like. What thirst felt like. He knew what it felt like to have his feelings hurt. Amen. Amen. And we can see in the Word of God as he stood outside Jerusalem and began to weep. Yes, he did. And began to say, Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how oft would they have gathered you together as a hand that gathers fruit under her wings. He wept because he was hurt. So he knew how you and I feel. But in the midst of this, we find another set of people. We find some people that were so set in their ways, so set in tradition, so set and trusted in their bloodline that they took for granted that because that they could claim Abraham as their father, it meant that they instantly had a straight line through the pearly gates. Right. <laughs> We find a man that's the Son of God healing the sick, raising the dead, preaching the Word of God, yeah. working miracles. And we find these others that still would not have Him, but yet claim to be religious. Yes. They could quote you the Word of God. Yes. They could tell you book. They could tell you verse and not miss a word. They could tell you all the requirements of the law, but there was something that was missing. They had seemingly everything going their way. They were uh, Jewish. They had seemingly at that time born in the, the right people. Uh, they had the law. They had the temple. They had all these things. But what they did not have, they did not have the Spirit of God. They did not have the Spirit of the living God. Yeah. Up until this time, this day, the Spirit of the Lord still got on men and women. Amen. <laughs> but in your my days, it gets in men and women. Yeah. But they was missing something. 
Does this sound familiar to you? They get so caught up in one another. Come on. Hmm? Be able to say, well, Abraham was my father. Jesus began to tell him, if Abraham was your father, you would do the works of Abraham. In other words, if you had the right birth, you're claiming this standard, you're claiming this way, but if you really had it, the works of the life you live would back up what you claim to have. Amen. Can I be plain with us tonight? Come on, if we hold as people our lives ought to back up the way of holding us. Right. If we're the children of God, we ought to live like the children of God should live. We ought to be doing the works that God has called me and you to do. But too many get to trust it in a name. In the name of a man, in the name of a family, in the name of a religion, God is not in those things. He's in one name, and that's Jesus. Glory to God. Come on, brother. Do you know what you got? Do you know what you got? Come on, brother. Come on now, children. Do you know what you got? Come on. Is this city upon me for days now? Don't let people confuse you. Children, right. this fussing and fighting is not of God. Right. This backbiting one another don't belong to the Lord. It don't belong in the Lord's house. Right. We've got the seemingly a whole generation that can't sleep at night unless they've destroyed somebody during the day. They can't find no peace unless they made somebody else look worse than they are. God ain't in that. God is not in that. God is in mercy. He is in love. He is in peace. God is in the fruits of the Spirit. He's not in the works of the flesh. But too many generations now come up. And we want to measure how holy we are among ourselves and by ourselves. You're not wise in so doing. My righteousness is filthy rags before the Lord. Your righteousness will never get you out of the ground, brother. you got to have You've got to have the real thing in your soul. Don't let these other folks scare you, bother you, tell your mind what people think about you. They hounded Jesus while He was dying on the cross. They still hounded Him. Glory to God. Even now, they don't even want to mention His name. If He's good enough to suffer, don't you think we should suffer too? Amen. Don't worry about these things that goes on. Why does this happen? Why does that happen? I still preach saved and sanctified. Yeah. Then Holy Ghost feels. Yeah. You got to be sanctified to get the Holy Ghost. Amen. It don't matter to me what nobody does. There's still a real spirit of the living God. Amen. And you still got to walk right in order to receive that. He don't put it on your city body. He don't put it in your city kind of vessel. You got to be a vessel of no honor to hold the anointing of God. Amen. Don't be troubled about what folks do. How other folks walk. You be troubled and concerned about your soul. And have I got enough to make it? Have I got enough to make it? And can I make it? You can make it. But it's going to take everything you've got to get in. It's going to take a sanctified life. I know the world doesn't want this. But we're the children of God. We should want this. We should want this. We should want more and more of the Word of God. We should live above anything that could take place in the house of God. We ought to treasure the Word of God. The Word of life. Do you know what most people want today? They want to be entertained. They want to be entertained. The truth. They want to go where the crowd is. Yeah. They want to see what's going to go on. Just like some folks go to the theater. We've got some in the church world that they go to church to be entertained. Right. They want to see who's going to preach. Uh, who's going to do something out of line. If they see something out of line, whatever that person did will beat them to the house before they get home. Yeah. Everybody will know when something bad takes place. But you let something good happen and it will all be done and over with and folks will say, I didn't even know happening. Because nobody thought to tell them. Amen. Glory to God. Don't let worldly folk bother you. You get your mind on God and touching the Lord. Glory to God. If they can live like the devil and shout, you don't want what's shouting. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, preacher man, I'm going to talk to you tonight, children. Glory to God. If they can go to the worldly place and speak in tongues, you don't want what's speaking in their tongues. Don't even trouble yourself about 
about that. Do you see Cap? That is perfect. You get that that's pure and holy. Glory to God. There's many are getting a hold of things now and it just won't hold them. It won't keep them. It won't keep them. First trial comes along, they give up, and they're gone. But thank God He gave me the Holy Ghost. Going on about 20 years ago, He gave me the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost has never led me wrong. Oh, John. He's never told me a lie. In times when I got weak and I got down, He was there to give me strength when I didn't think I could go no further. Amen. Well, why? Because He's the Comforter. He's the Comforter. That's what He's sent for. To guide me and to teach me and you. Glory to God. To bring back to our remembrance whatsoever the Lord has spoken to me and you. That's what the Holy Ghost is for. He's not just to speak us in times. God bless my little people. Holiday weekends roll around that kills us, don't it? Hallelujah. I thank God for what I've got. I thank God for holiness, true holiness. Be what you are and live a life. The song you say, God knows your heart. Can't get by. Glory to God. They can snip and trim and clip and stain and dye in color. And I'll tell you, sisters and you brothers, mm, get you a decent haircut. Leave the scissors out of your hair. You stay gray or flesh, whatever the Lord give you, you do the same thing. Amen. Preacher. Because we want the Holy Ghost at ages. We don't want just an emotion and a roller coaster. We want something that will anchor a man or woman and help them through the fire. We want something that in the days and lives ahead, I can rely upon what I've got. I can get in trouble and lean and lean hard and He won't break on me because I got the real thing. No matter what somebody else does. No matter what the church down the road does. You no matter what so and so how they walk and they get in. Don't worry about that. You'll never make it in if you got your eyes off the goal. But you worry about what you got. Jesus began to tell them they were religious. Well, we've got Abraham for our father. Here they was claiming something, but they wasn't even walking in the ways to be worthy to claim it. Hello, church. Glory to God. Can't you look around and see the church world is in as bad a shape now as what it was when the Lord came the first time? Amen. Amen. It wasn't no more spiritual then. It become political. It become power plays and men setting their men in, and the poor and, and, and uh, maybe the less thought of shun and pushed aside. Can't you see in our church we're in the same shape today as it was when the Lord came the first time? We're right back. Open your eyes and realize the Lord is soon to come. He's coming again. He's not coming for your church or my church. He's coming for His. What about it? People say, well, they do it and they get by with it. Did they? <laughs> have they got by with it? Glory, glory. I would rather have to pay down here. You listen to what I'm fixing to tell you. I would rather have to face it down here than to think that I'm going to slip by the judgment bar. Because, brother, if I've got one thing left undone, if I've got one thing I've done wrong, it's going to meet me at judgment. When I stand there, I better stand there having a clean hands and a pure heart and a robe that's white and neatly pressed with no spot, no wrinkle, no blemish. I won't be worried about whether Ronald will pray tonight. I'll be worried about whether I pray tonight. Don't worry about somebody else's walk. Let's just be plain. If they're worldly, they're in the world. These folks don't know no better preacher. That's true. 
But I know one thing about the Spirit of God. You got an honest heart. That Holy Ghost will bring you out of the world. He'll sanctify you and teach you how to walk. Glory, glory, glory. He can take a man that don't even know how to read and sanctify that man and call him to preach the Word of God and teach him how to read. Hallelujah. We're over tonight, children. We're over tonight. We said coming about so much we're letting this thing slip from me and you. Don't worry. Well, I'm just going to tell you. I'm just going to talk to you. One time, they, some come to me one time and uh, they wanted me to let them take my little girl and get her hair cut. Get some funny looks now. Come on, Jason. Come on, Jason. Come on, Jason. You know what I had to tell her? I can't let you do that. Well, hello. Come on, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And you know how hard that was, that was? People don't know. If you ain't been there, you don't know. But it's a hard thing to have to tell your child you can't do that. And they say, why? I say, well, I know you don't claim to, to serve the Lord, but I've got to show you, teach you the right way. And I am a preacher. And not only that, I'm a pastor of a church. And if I begin to let you go and do this, then I'm opening up the door where the preacher's daughter can do it. You say that's nothing. That is something. Yeah. Amen. God gave you women your long hair for a covering. Amen. He gave that to you for glory. Amen. He gave that to you to have power on your head because of the angels. Glory to God. But tell them, say it ain't nothing to that. Children, ain't we let enough get away from me and you? Yeah. Ain't we already let enough? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Do you agree with me, preacher? You don't need to let his daughter do that? Why? Well, it's all right. You probably know what's coming. If I can't let mine do that, you can't let yours either. Amen. People say, don't say nothing to them. Let the Lord teach them. Open your eyes and realize when the Holy Ghost moves on the man of God, that is the Holy Ghost. Amen. That is the Lord trying to teach them. Amen. So pray for the preacher. Say, Amen. 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 Don't worry about what the church down the road does. We want the Holy Ghost in ages. We want the fire in ages. We don't want something strange. Huh? Begin to watch Moses and Aaron offer sacrifice before the Lord. And they begin to take fire pans and say, We'll go and we'll offer to the Lord too. But the Bible said they offered strange fire before the Lord. Strange fire. God said, Get on the fire and consume them and kill them. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder how many funerals we'd be having if God was doing that today. Yeah. How many preachers would we carry out and bury? And God had a priest and God never sent it. Yeah. How many prophets would we already have in the graveyard? Yeah. That spoke behold and the Lord never sent it. Don't worry about what somebody else does. You worry about what you do. You worry about what you know. You worry about the life you're living. Yeah. We've done let it slip so much, children. You these younger, younger people don't hardly know what genuine holiness is. Right. Amen. Truth. Truth. <coughs> water this thing down enough, all you're gonna have after a while is water. Right. Right. Come on. Well, Amen. Amen. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
I can't tell you the times if somebody wants to give my little girl some makeup. We don't want to hear that neither, but listen. It's just the toy, it's just play. That's just training them to get them ready when they get older. Right. Hit right there. Amen. Come on, dear. I'm going to tell you the time I've had to play around up the nail polish and the lipstick and the little foundation and throw it in the garbage. Come on, come just as soon as daddy could find it, he'd go right. in the garbage and go out. Why? Because I'm trying to keep the devil right. off my gun. Yeah. That's my dog. You do yours however you want to, but that's my girl. Right. And I don't want the devil to get her. I want her to know that there is a way called holiness. Yeah. Well, 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 well. well. If they, if they live like the world and act like the world, they're of the world. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Don't you dare try to take hold in this and mix it with anything. It won't work. It, won't work. it will not work. You'll have a form of godliness, but you'll be denying the power of the earth. You'll have something that looks close, but it sounds so much different. If you were of Abraham, if Abraham was your father, you'd do the works of Abraham. Huh? If the one true God, the King of the universe, is our Father, we'll do the works that He does. And if we don't do those works, and we're doing the works of sin, I'm about to say it, John. If we're doing the wrong works and we're doing the works of sin, then Satan is our Father. God won't let me lie on none of you. God won't let me spread gossip on you. Come on. Well, I don't talk, preacher. I listen, but I don't talk. You might as well join right in and talk right with them. You're going to give them an audience. You might as well just fall right in and go with them. Right. I don't talk, but I know everything going on in the church house. God ain't in that. Amen. Preacher, man, I said God is not in that. The world is going to hell. Your children are out in there going to. And you think God is wrapped up and tied up in gossip? Backbiting, fault finding? You think God is going to idle his time on that? The Holy Ghost don't care about nothing like that. He hates that. And if you do that, he hates what you do. Amen. We had some religious people here. But the Son of God didn't even recognize him because he didn't have the Spirit of God. Yeah. God didn't get, get angry with him. Yeah. You ever have somebody get angry with you? Yeah. Come on now, they, they, they're saying, I'll fly away, but you cross them and they'll knock you out. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Here's some people saying, Abraham's our father and they was wanting to kill this man. Yeah. They were wanting to kill Jesus. And he told them that. I'm a man that's told you the truth. You seek to kill me. Yeah. This did not Abraham. Abraham didn't do this. Right. And you're saying you're his seed? Right. You're a child of faith and you want to kill a man that's told you the truth? Right. <laughs> you think it ain't going on, children, it's going on. Yeah. You counsel them a little bit. Some of them try to run too fast. Yeah. Do things God ain't authorized them to do. You begin to tell them, leave it alone. They'll kill you with this. Yeah. Right. They'll kill you and say, I'm a wholeness child. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't much, but I'm a wholeness child. Yeah. Oh, you know, I begin to tell my daughter, I said, I can't let you do that. What you do reflects on me. Well, if what my child does reflects on me, what do you think what you're doing reflects on your father? Hello, somebody. Hello, little child of God. Some folks want to be known as tough. They're hard, hard people. Jesus didn't want to be known as hard. 
You know, hateful spirits don't belong to God. Right. They don't belong to the Lord. Yeah. If God is your Father, you're going to do the things of God. Yeah. If Jesus Christ is your King, you're going to do the works that He did. Yeah. Right. He wasn't going about to kill people. He was going about to rescue people. Yeah. Amen. A, a certain woman of the city, the nice way, a prostitute came in. Yeah. Right. Behind the Lord, she began to weep. She had this little alabaster box. It had perfume in it. She anointed him with it. And as she was weeping, she knelt down at his feet. And that woman washed our Lord's feet with the tears that fell from her face. Listen, modern Christians. When she got done, she dried them with her hair. Amen. How long was that hair on that center woman? Come on. Come on. How long did her hair have to be to be able to dry his feet with the hair of her head? Come on, Boys, you throw around a moment if I'm going to some to you for you. Come on. Come on. Hello, this sinner woman. Preach it. How long was her hair? Oh. Well, well, come on, come on, right? You know what they begin to do, these religious men? Why, if this was a prophet, he would know what kind of woman it is that's touching him. They was religious, but they didn't have no mercy. Amen. Well, 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 well. Oh, brother messed up. I'm just going to ride him till he quits. Because I've got the book on him. Mm -hmm. Come on. Not knowing what spirit's got a hold of them. Amen. Oh, glory, glory, glory. I say if the Holy Ghost will deal with a man to pray, leave him alone and let him pray. Amen. If God will beckon them and call them, shut your mouth. If you can't say that good, be quiet. Amen. Let that man pray. Leave him alone. Amen. Are you Abraham's seed? Come on. Are you Abraham's seed? God began to tell Abraham. He showed him the stars of the sky to heavens. He told him he'd make his seed like the stars of the sky. He told him he'd make his seed like the sand of the seashore. Now I'm asking you, little ages person, or wherever you're from, are you a seed of Abraham? Are you a seed of Abraham? Are you born of faith? Abraham was a friend of God. He was a friend of God. Now are you a seed of Abraham? Are you a seed of Abraham? I can only treat what the Holy Ghost give me. When you get tired, Children were supposed to be there and encourage one another. Give a kind word. Say if they do wrong, say brother, that ain't right. Let's do better and let's go on. Yeah. Yeah. Our people seeking to kill one another. Yeah. Amen. We want to promote one church over another church. God's only got one. Amen. Amen. We want to do this and that. God's not in that. Come on. Don't get caught up in that. Don't get tied up in that. Right. The folks will fight each other over their baseball team, football team, basketball team. They'll really brawl over that. Right. Right. Children of God don't do that. Right. We don't fight. You know how we got to fight? We got to put them together. We got to get down on our knees. Sometimes we got to lay on our face. Amen. Sometimes we pace the floor. Amen. Thank God we're talking to our Father. Amen. Glory to God. You know, first time they went through, Jesus told them, I must need to pass by Samaria. Right. Yeah. i got to go by there. Yeah. The disciples didn't know, but Jesus knew that that woman. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that adulterous woman that had been married five times and was shacking with somebody that wasn't hers. Yeah. 
element. The truth oh, is. Man. Hello. Yeah. The truth. You, you picking up what I'm telling you? Come on. Come on. The Lord knew that that adulterous woman yes, would be at that well that day. Yeah. And yeah. he went ahead and beat her to the well. Yeah. And was waiting on her when she got there. Yeah. Remember how it began to go? Hey, began, she began to, began to ask her for some water. Yeah. She began to shock. How is it that you be no a Jew and you be a Samaritan and you ask to uh, water with me? Uh, because uh, the Jews and the Samaritans had no dealings with one another. He began to tell her that adulterous woman. He began to tell her if you knew who it is that asked, give me a drink. You would have asked. And, and what? I would give you living water. I would give you living water. What did he say? If you ask, I would give you living water. Uh, did she ask? She didn't say, then you brought nothing to draw. Now she went to get water. Now she had to take something to draw to get water. She just wasn't yet with him. still calling. He began to tell him about that water. He never thought he did. What'd she say? She said, Sir, give me this water. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sir, give me this one. And he said, if you ask, I'll give you this one. She said, sir, give me this one. Glory, glory, glory. Well, that was a pretty story, but he said, go and get your husband. Bring him. Oh, I have no husband. Ah. Ah. Well, 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 well. Glory, 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 glory. Exactly like it was. Yeah, I'm you. Yeah. 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 You had five husbands. And the one you're with now is not your husband. Yeah. She said, Sir, I perceive that you're a prophet. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. You know what the first thing she wanted to do? She wanted to ask him a question. She said, Now our people, they teach that in this mountain we ought to worship. And the Jews teach in Jerusalem. Men ought to worship. What do you say? And he began to tell her that the time is coming and now is. Right now. That men will neither worship in this mountain nor in Jerusalem. I'm talking about Abraham's seed. It's all coming around. I'm not all coming around. Began to tell them that the time would come that, that those, those that would worship would worship how? In spirit, in spirit and in truth. Amen. For the Father seeketh such to worship Him. Amen. Now, are you a seed of Abraham? Come on. Are you a seed of Abraham? Amen. If Abraham was your father, you'd do the works of Abraham. You'd do the works of Abraham. That man that took the only son that he had and bound him up and laid him on that altar. He grabbed that knife. He was going to kill that boy. But he was going to give him to God. Are you Abraham's seed? Are you willing to take that thing that you love the most in your life and give it to God? Are you willing to move that out of the way that you can be counted worthy for the blessings of God? Glory to God, little children. Are you Abraham's seed? Then do the works of Abraham. Worship God. Amen. I saw Scotty a while ago. He felt good. I knew he felt good. I could see it in his face. Oh. 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 Nobody take this the wrong way. He knows what I mean when I say this. He's a Reformed Baptist. Mm -hmm. I see him. He's, he's learning how to praise the Lord. Yeah. Scotty, if ain't nobody else in this house will do this. When you feel that like you felt a while ago standing here, you do that. And nobody gets with you, you do that anyway. Why? Because you're the seed of Abraham. Abraham worshiped his God, children. And all this been going hard, nobody worship no more. And we got to look and see if our prophet or our preacher is raising their hand. If they raise their hand, then I'll raise mine. But if they don't move, I'm going to be quiet. Amen. Abraham was your father. You do the works of Abraham. We have one father, even God. He's our father. Yeah. Well, if God was your father, you'd love me. Amen. I'm from God. Well, 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 well. If God's your father, 
did laugh if it's me. Because it came from the Father. It came from the Father. Glory, glory, glory. Don't worry about other people. Don't worry about other religions. Religions will take you to hell. Religion has never saved any man. It can't save man. Religion is man's attempt to touch God. Salvation is God's attempt to touch man. Amen. Oh, well, you know what you want to feel tonight? I feel a buzz. I feel like I'm getting clear to the Transformers from I feel like I can feel that tonight. My little people, if you'd ever learn how to worship God, you talk about a force to be reckoned with. If you'd ever realize what it means to be a seed of Abraham. Yeah. They couldn't do nothing with you when this kid's in here. See, see, you can't do nothing else. Life is hard. You know what you still have a right to do? You still have a right to praise God. You still have a right to praise God. Right you remember back in the days, our folks, we wouldn't have to choke back tears. <laughs> hey, we let them roll. We cried and we proud of it because we took it all. You know what that is? It's moving and comes by and tries to touch you. That's the Lord trying to help you. That's the Lord that comes by and says, All right. Try it again. Try it again. That's the Lord come by to help you. That thing got on you tonight? There was the Lord to help you and edify and teach you. You've got to learn about it. But if my people would ever learn, realize how to submit yourself to the Lord. You ever have to Lord, help me, Jesus, get this cross away off you. Don't worry about somebody else, church, or how they're firing or what they're doing. Children were Abraham's seed. These billions that claim to know God, but very few that God will actually claim to know. And ain't you glad you want to do it? Even though they make fun of it, and you don't have to live like that, Amen. they'll even go as far as to blaspheme and say the Lord told them to tell you you don't have to live that way. Right. They lied on the Holy Ghost. Right. They might as well go and enjoy this world. There's no forgiveness. <laughs> There's no forgiveness for that. Glory. Now take you. You don't have to look like Grandma. If Grandma was the oldest woman, you'll have to look like Grandma. Right. Amen. 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 Right. You know what Abraham did? He ran to meet them. He bid them to come in. He ran to the servants and told them, You run now, you go and you fix something. He was in a hurry. Everything he's doing for the Lord, he was doing it in a hurry. Wouldn't you like the Lord to come and sit in your tent tonight? Come on. Wouldn't you like for the Lord to sit down at the door of your tabernacle? He did it with Abraham. He does it with Abraham's son. He does. Sometimes he walks and he talks to him. That's what you feel is just fresh. That's because you're Abraham's daughter. You go out to me. I praise the Lord for that that I feel in my soul tonight. I praise the Lord that it's life in that word tonight. I feel kind of stirring in my soul tonight. Praise the Lord for it tonight. Preach to me, son. Preach to me. I praise Him for that that I feel stirring in my soul tonight. I thought you remember what you said that night over in a pulpit that few a long time ago. 
go. It's still good tonight. It's, it's still good tonight. But I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'm just crazy, JC. I pray. Come on, Russell. I feel a stir in my soul tonight. There's something real about this. There's something real about this. But I do. I'm crazy tonight. I'm praising for it tonight. And it's one of the flow among the pigs tonight. I'm praising for it tonight. I'm praising my praise. I'm praising for it tonight. I'm praising for it tonight. I'm praising for it tonight. Would you perhaps feel like praising the Lord? Amen. Praising tonight. I'm praising tonight. I'm not going to beg you. If you don't feel like it, don't. But before Russell got up, I was going to say, I feel like the Lord wants and prays for us. He wants all of us. He don't want to hear what the devil's done. He don't want to hear how hard life is to live. Thank God. There we go. Just how good he is. How good he is to serve him. Great. Great. He one of his great grandchildren was named Praise. Judah, his name was Praise. Come on. Did you ever have seen him? I'm glad you came up. I'm glad you came up. Scotty, you ought to try it again.
Thank you. 